Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a form that is based on a query with multiple relationships in it. So just to recap the relationships, if I go to database tools and relationships, you can see the tables are linked here. So basically the sales table is a joining table for all the other three. And you can see they're all one to many links coming into that. That's the relationship. I'll close that down. I then created a query. If I go into design on this one, design, where I've added those four tables and added various fields from each table. When you run this query, you'll see the result. You get that sort of information there. So if I add another product, so I've got look up there, word say, it puts the price in, I do a quantity. And then customer who bought that puts the name in. And then the member of staff who dealt with that puts the name in. That's what, how it's set up at the moment. But I don't want to do this in a like table like this. I want to do it in a form. So I'm going to create a form based on this query and then edit that form. So that's it selected there. Create. I'm just going to go straight for a form design there. Now. I'm going into design mode to edit this and change it around a little bit. Um, first thing I want to do is get rid of this layout option. So I've got this selected. I'm going to arrange and I'm going to remove the layout. So I'm now in control of that. Um, I can then make these a lot smaller. For example, sales ID does not need to be all the way across like this. So I can just bring that in. Like so, um, product ID will be the same. That is a lookup list, so I won't make it as small as that. Product, bringing that in. So basically, they all, they all could come in. Price, that's just a salary thing. So basically, let me just bring them all in rather than doing one at a time. The names can probably stay out there a little bit. Okay, so I messed that one up. Don't want to do it like that. I'll do it. Bring the price in a little bit. I'll just do the rest. Okay, so I've pulled them all in. Um, these labels have got the table references as well, which I don't really need. So I'm just going to um, change this label just to, to the word customer. Customer. First name I'll have to put, and then customer surname. Like that, and then I'll just get rid of the um, TBL bit and make a, get rid of that full stop and do a space. Same with that one, just to tidy this up, because you don't want it to look like this when you're filling it in. And then get rid of the dot, do a space. So let's have a quick look at that. Go back to form view. So there we go. That's not too bad. Customer first name, staff first name, Steve Jones. Okay, so if you do a new record in the form, new record down the bottom there, I'm selecting a product. It shows me that. I'll go for access. I'll say there was three of them. Customer ID is that one. Stuff dealing with it is that one. New new record or press tab. Go for new record. Press enter, should I say? And it will come down to a new record. Now I need to change that. So I'm going back into design. Um, I'm going to call this order details. Now, any instructions that you need to put on this form, you can do a text box here with the AA label. So you can uh, make sure you fill that in. I mean, one thing you probably would want to do is check stock levels and things like that, but I'll do that in a different video. I'm going to leave that as it is. Let's have a quick look. Order details. Now, I haven't saved this form. I will do now. I'll just close it and then save it as 
so frm it's got sales details there i'll put it as just frm in front of that so i know it's following that query and then click ok to that and then we've got our form so now the tables i've got the data in if i go to the sales table that last record i did is just sitting there but you can't really make any sense of it the query the query sales details is where you would see that information so that's that last record the access course that i did there and that's where all the details is um, but that's just doing the work behind the scenes what you'd now look at is the form um, that that's where you'd be working so that's all i want to talk about in this little video hopefully that was useful catch you on the next one